recently, Matt got a chance to talk to Zack Snyder. <laughs> so, <laughs> that so image is funny. I, I know, he's showing us. He's showing us the stream. He's like, yeah. "Look, oh, I was on my cast. I was on my cast. Look how I made it." So, Matt, well, what was that like getting Zach on the show? And as you know, obviously. When he he came on, you're like, okay. So here we go. I mean, I mean, what was it like just just to be able to talk to him? Uh, and the way you did it, by the way, not to cut you off, but the way you did it, how you had Taylor and Josh involved, and you had uh, you know people that have worked with Zach, you know, leave leave videos. I thought that was so well done, and it was so awesome the way you did that. So I just want to say I thought that was yeah, great. It's fire! It's fire! Yeah, man, it was I fire. That. I okay, now you can lot. speak. Yeah. Now you can speak. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, th you know, it's funny is that we were trying to bring Zach on back in what, April. And we were going to try mm -hmm. to do it in March, then April. Then we were talking back and forth. And eventually we were like, well, let's do it in May. And we're like, well, if we do it in May, we have to do it this time. We, want, we didn't want to do it before the release of Army of the Dead. We realized we want to get the impact from both Army of the Dead and Zack Snyder's Justice League in the future where he's going to go. Um, and so when we contemplated the idea for the show, we were like, we're going to definitely do a closed recording because if this was live, we would be this shit would be all over the place. Um, <laughs> like that's just evident. There's going to be people like, I'm not going to do a full load where people, I like Tyrus is, uh, I think his, I pronounced his name, right? Tyrus Magnus, right? Oh, Tyrone. 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 Okay, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, Tyrone. Yeah. I watched his, inter I loved it. It was a very genuine. Yeah, he has know, it like this. <laughs> yeah, I love it. He, he did ask him, he did ask him one question, which always bugs me every time that somebody says this is like, so I got a question for you. Has, have you heard uh, from WB about continuing the Snyderverse and all that? And he's like, no, of course not. Of course he isn't going to hear from WB because WB doesn't give a shit. And WB, he'll never, ever, ever fucking hear from WB. But I'm so tired of people thinking that – like like Shazam. Shazam is not WB. Shazam is fucking New Line Cinema owned by AT&T, now going to be owned by you know Discovery. But – it's the same thing. It's like you're not – Zach's never going to hear from WB to fucking continue do anything or – There is no more show. WB. From last I heard, it's called Warner Brothers Discovery now. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there is, is no WB. WB. Yeah. yeah so, but, but, I mean, and, but you're never he, – he's never going to hear from them. No. No, yeah. I, I, I get your point. And, and yeah. I thought he did a good job overall. He did like, a good job. He was very – But that, well that question right man. there was like, oh, yeah, he asked the wrong question. He yeah, just, I, we, what was great is that Zach is such – he is what he he shows people, right? He's mm -hmm. very wholesome person, very welcoming, very open. I mean, come on. Okay, so we were <laughs> – this is a funny story because we had to do this off the show before the sh we started recording. So I was coming from I – was, I was actually – finishing one of my last classes I was teaching and I was running fucking flying through the street to get to the studio to turn like, like everything was already prepped, ready to go. I did it that morning before I left and Zach was already in there talking and chatting with everybody. And, uh, it was lady Genevieve's birthday. So she got a birthday wish. And, um, and it, we're all talking about, you know, green lantern, all these things I'm fucking running in. Like, let's do this, man. I'm like, I sweat coming down. And he's like, he's like, it's, 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 Cool, man. Like, let's go. Like, hey, we're waiting for you. And I'm like, no, I'm so sorry. I'm here late. And he's like, you guys want to see something cool? And he's like showing us the Green Lantern stuff. And I'm going to not fucking preface this to you. Wayne T. Carr is Green Lantern after looking at that. <laughs> just, Hell yeah, uh, he just is. Straight yeah, up he's fucking he's always Green Lantern, man. He is, he is Green Lantern. And we, we, Hussein is Hussein, right? Hussein does, if you know Hussein, you know what Hussein is capable of. Yeah. And Ryan is Ryan. Yeah, that's true. And um, we he we're gonna get the image right. We're gonna get all that stuff, and we're gonna share it with everybody. So halfway through <laughs> this discussion, we're we're going and talking about this, texting back and forth between are we gonna get this or not? And eventually, uh, his wife stepped in. Deborah stepped in, and basically they weren't allowed to share it. Uh, there was there was reasons for it. Um, well, because WB is already going to be using Green Lantern. <laughs> there was reasons for but it. It's a multiverse. But it's a multi. Shut up. <laughs> because me, like I'm a person, I would love to share anything that I get. Right? I just want to share the excitement that I'm mm -hmm. feeling with other people. And if you're not excited, well, then you know, fuck, I don't care. So I'll find someone <laughs> that is. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm excited because Je- Zach is just a genuine dude, and he's just yeah. a really down to earth mm-hmm. person that just wants that it wants to vibe on what you're vibing on, and he's a very great conversationalist. And he had said a lot of things that were very, you know, exciting in in for his future and the new projects he's working on, and and to hear him talk about Ben Affleck's Batman and to have that you know, present perspective. I I'm going to emphasize that present perspective that they're mm-hmm. ready to do that any day. Like they're ready to go. And yeah. when he talked about the restoration of his Snyderverse, I was just like, yeah, you're ready without hesitation. He's good to go. You know, like it, he can do multiple projects at once. That guy's a magician, right? He knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, we've talked to his whole crew. Christina Wren made it very clear that this guy's over here getting coffee, having a conversation with somebody at the water cooler, walking over here, getting a bagel. And all of a sudden it sits down action. Something explodes. Shit's flying all over the place. He's calm as fuck. Like, all right, cool. Let, all right, let's, let's go start back from one. And he continues on, right? He goes on back to what he's doing. And that shows you how calm and collective and thought out process he is. Like he's already right. 50 steps ahead when everybody's still reading the script. He already knows mm-hmm. where the end is. And that just shows you his dynamics, right? And that's how he was in the interview. He, he knew exactly what we were going to do uh, and how we pieced up the interview to be different segments to follow with different conversations. Um, and he was, he was tired. Uh, I will admit that. Like he told us it, like he was working uh, prior to the interview and, and we only had a hard time with him because he had to get back to what he was doing. Um, but he was gracious enough to hang out afterwards and just chill and vibe and, and talk about lenses and, and just have that extra few minutes. And he's just cool. And he's definitely coming back. That is, that is something that, you That's know, awesome. is going to be great to talk about with him in the future is more projects and definitely I'm going to lens out with him. Like we were vibing on lenses for a while. I was kind of geeked that out. That was really cool when he got up. He was like, show, actually, yeah. let me show you yeah. something. Yeah. You know, gets that, I was just like, whoa. Inexpensive that lens is. Like I was thinking like, did you just pull out a fast 50 and it's on a Sony? Like that? that's a Sony like DS. Yeah, so that's like a basic snapshot Sony right there that you got and you put it on that. And I'm sitting to myself, dude, that's magic. Like mm-hmm. that's magic. <laughs> um, like, that's fucking magic. I'm over here like I could pull out mine, but it's not as good as that one. And <laughs> I have another one, but that's like, you're like, you, I stole this one. You 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 beat me, bro. Like, <laughs> like, I did. I'm not supposed to have it. He has it right there. It is. There it is. You see. This is the infamous stolen uh adapter lens right here. <laughs> so and he knew it too. Remember, he's like, he's like, that's like an adapter. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and th- yeah, I did take this. Uh, Cause no one used it in the studio, and I was like, I used it. I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna use this." And That's I hooked what I say it all the time at work. I say, "No one's using this. I should I, be able to take it home with me." <laughs> to get this on a Canon lens, right? I wanted to put this on. Um, I think it was a Canon Prime. I think it was a Prime 35. Mm-hmm. I wanted to adapt this to it, so I went and got multiple adapters to cook this on there to do one shot. And then afterwards, I was like. Are you guys can we are you guys gonna use this? They're like, nah, we never use that. I'm like, all right, bag. I stuck it in the bag and I took it because I liked it. It was a good, it was good. So you know, but I, I really did enjoy uh, the format of the interview, uh, as I was saying earlier, and I also enjoyed how uh, I love Taylor's question, his first question. He said, What was it like working uh doing Army of the Dead with Netflix where they gave you uh total freedom to do what you wanted to do? And, uh, you know, he was able to answer that, you know, just straight up and, and, and you know, being truthful. And uh, I think that that was just, it was just the way the way it was set up was great. So, yeah. um, you know, bravo. I mean, that, that was such a kick ass. I've actually listened to that interview at least like four times. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'll give you the rundown. I, I have the run. All those questions we we, uh, <laughs> we we meticulously go over. I'll show it to you. I'll share my screen. I'll show you the rundown. OK. Here you go. This here we go, guys. This is breaking news. This is insider <laughs> knowledge news. of Lightcast. I don't want to share. <laughs> it's a, it's I don't a scribbling wanna, crayon. I don't want to share. <laughs> I don't want to share too much. Oh, news. there it is. Uh, hold on. Let me yeah. block my. It looks a lot like the one you shared with uh, Wayne T. Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne T. Cars go. No, but I mean, we pretty much had it's like dancing talk. towards us. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> um, but <laughs> but yeah, a lot walking, of these yeah. were 
lined out. There was a lot of stuff we had to black out, of course, um, <laughs> that you can see. I, I can't Superman. unblack it. And, okay, so I need the New file. Gods. I need the file without the black. It's hard ZSJL. to read with the black um, But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot we had to black out of it. Um, but it, it was pretty, you know, we worked pretty hard on this to kind of, yeah. we wanted it to feel structured. So we didn't want, cause I, I've, I've read the responses from a lot of people from a lot of interviews that they're tired of trying to listen to a Zack Snyder interview. And there's 15 fucking people talking over him, And all you get is, but yeah, that's what happened. And you're like, what the fuck did he say? Yeah. Did he just say that he's going to fucking do that? <laughs> you know, Not I don't know. Too. Maybe you should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no Ryan Reynolds questions. We took that out. Uh, yeah, um, I don't think it's necessary anymore. It's done with. It, it's it's like, done with. It's over. Yeah. yeah. I think even before, long before the movie came out, as soon as those rumors hit, I was kind of like, mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I was gonna be shocked if that actually ended up happening. But uh, there was I don't something see him fitting to Zach's world at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was something that I did want to ask Matt about because he didn't ask. There was one question he didn't ask, um, and I, I bring this up because Ryan is here with us today, and uh, it's a question about the boy shorts. Ah. Ryan has been dying to know why oh, yeah. Robin is <laughs> wearing. About that. Boy I shorts. Need, I need to hear it from Zach. Why, why he was like, yeah, boy shorts. That's that's the word. I mean, Ryan's <laughs> even said his legs were cut off, possibly. I, I don't think it's so. possible. It's possible. Oh my God, Ryan. What? I'd like to know. I'd like to know for real. He won't give it up. That is he won't give it up. No, no, no. Legit, like, if, when, the, the, whenever it happens that Ryan is sitting on a panel with Zach Snyder, when it comes his turn He's to ask, ask a question, him. he will ask him that opposed he to anything else you can ask him. He's yeah, say, dude, it, it could be cool. like it could be. I could ask him like, hey, you know, so what? What are you gonna do with Henry Cavill? Oh, I'm totally prepared to, to tell you what I'm gonna do with Henry Cavill. Like, no, tell me about the fucking boy shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, bring, up, bring up the image. We'll analyze this real quick. I feel right. like it's just for the display. Okay. Yeah, in bring the case. The image. So I don't. I think... want. Oh, go ahead, Ali. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I always felt like, I don't know. I just got the impression that it's for the display. The way that he's just. I don't know, because look at his sleeves. Like, does he also have short sleeves? I don't like, think yeah. he would have short I, I, sleeves. I, I, I think, yeah, I think in my in He's my an world, acrobat. In my okay, world, so? I, I would I would have dressed him <laughs> like Bruce. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know, you know, just just you know, maybe different alteration. He didn't have to have a big bat on it, it just has a little R on on the on the uh on the chest. But um or on the pack. Maybe he. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that. I don't even think that Alfred would let him go out and be like, "Hey, you you know your legs are exposed." I don't think <laughs> like, that's no, actually no, what he would say. He probably had legs some, are exposed. Sometimes I don't want to say Under Armour because that's a little you know, no. but uh, Under Armour esque esque type of yeah undergarment yep. that, Le leggings. Yeah. That he he maybe he buried him in that chair. So Robin, know. put on your leggings. That's true. <laughs> he's buried in his, well, I mean, it is the. Uh, what if it's raining or? It's well, I cold. mean, if you bring right, bring up the image, we'll look at it real quick. So the theory, right? If you look at the theory of this, what's great about this is it it shoots a nod back to the original, exactly. you know. Bat or the original Robin, Batman and Robin, when he has the boy shorts, he's the boy wonder. But <laughs> however, if, name. it's the it's the legs, right? <laughs> I'll die, I'll die. <laughs> the legs that give you away, right? Mm -hmm. It's so cold, <laughs> Master Robin. One leg is shorter <laughs> than the other, so it kind of alludes to the idea that possibly it was cut off. Yeah, right. Oh and the arms are shorter mm -hmm. than one's shorter than the other, so it alludes that it cuts off. However, we don't know. Though. However, we don't know if the suit is being rolled up to give it that impression, but you do know that he was burned, he was shot, he was tortured because yeah. the suit is all damaged, the cape yeah. is burnt, the 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 spear that he's using his weapon, his okay. staff is broken. So mm -hmm. everything about it is being torn okay. apart. So in that reality of of where we're at, it yeah. does look like his arms possibly could have been cut off. His legs probably could have been cut off. Who knows? We got to get that Batman show, right? Got to get that get Batman a, show. So we get that Batman show. We'll never know what happened. Yeah. I, I, I like, hope yeah. that's not the case. That's. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's going to be bad. It's, it's going to be bad. It's gonna, it's gonna from be, what from what yeah. Zach said, he gets a uh, Robin gets a couple licks in on Joker, and and possibly yeah. maybe he's the one that broke his face. Oh, that's true. That could be the there case. you go. Maybe. And, and guys, if you want to check out the entire interview, go over to Lightcast. Check out uh, the episode one fifty five with Zack Snyder. Uh, definitely, it's a great interview. It's got uh, Taylor Murphy and Josh Morales as well. Uh, definitely check it out. It's it's it's, it's worth it. I listen to it like definitely. four times. I usually, I usually do it when I'm doing yard work. I'll put that on. And then not, not only that, but right before that, you had uh, the v, uh, the VFX team. Yeah. On yeah. as well, which is another great interview as well. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Yeah, they, they were like, okay, so he said something after the show, which I probably we should have had it on the fucking show, man. He went in detail about what happened with the Brian Reynolds Green Lantern. And really, yeah. And I wanted, I was just like, damn, if we just would have fucking just kept recording. <laughs> yeah. And and what, did, was, what did he say? We have a, I, I, he basically said that a movie was a mess when you're trying to hire them last minute to come in and fix the mistakes that were already implemented. So there's no way to fix that movie. It was already, they were trying to fix it in the 11th hour. And when we were talking about, you know, the look of, of Green, Wayne T. Carr's Green Lantern, they, it was Brian, Brian Hirota was the one that by himself created Wayne T. Carr's look. And the illusion of the projection of the chest where the uh, Green Lantern emblem comes from was a design crucial to making the suit, the digital suit looks more organic and real because mm -hmm. of when he moves, which is fucking badass. It all sticks like it all looks real. And then when you, you, you know, you see it, it's like, fuck, like that, like he is. John Stewart. Like, let's be real. He'll yes, never he not be John Stewart. Stewart. So, yeah. Wayne, if you're out there watching, you are John you Stewart. Are. Don't forget Yo, that. Up? I'm not even gonna call you Wayne anymore. We're just gonna call you John. Yeah, let's yeah. Call you John. 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 <laughs> Henceforth, so. all bathrooms should be known as John's. John. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have uh, jo Jared Morantz is coming on today. Yes, yeah, and that's yeah. going to start in yeah, about five did. minutes yeah. as well. Yeah, so definitely check that out. Uh, guys, I just want to say thank you to Matt for coming on the show today. Uh, we're, we're just about out of time. Um, and, guys, where can everyone find you? Let's start. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, where can they find you? I'll be streaming tomorrow uh, on ZebraFed. Yeah, I'm glad you called. Ryan is being a little bitch again. <laughs> you can't write. So check me out tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, around this time, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow, and uh, Nicotina won't be there, so it'll be a good show. 